Yeah, it's um, day two after my spinal fusion. It's actually one full day after the fusion, but it's day two in the hospital. Um, it's been good. I got up for the first time to walk today, and at the first time I sat up, I thought I was going to pass out. I turned super white, and literally I saw stars and heard the ringing in my ears. Um, but I did two steps, laid back down for a little bit, and you just got to keep pressing on. Um, I got up a couple more times after that, and it honestly, it gets easier. And it may not feel like that, and you may feel defeated, but it, it does get easier. Um, the only thing I'm pretty much encountering right now is they still have me on the morphine drip, or Dilaudid drip, right now. And um, I'm getting that taken away from me tomorrow, so we'll see how that changes. But I've kind of weaned myself off of it. I'm not as dependent on it every six minutes clicking for it, maybe once an hour, if that. But um, I'm experiencing a lot of bloating. I actually, I feel 100 pounds heavier than I was yesterday and it's I'm not a hundred pounds heavier but it just feels like that and and they give you all the stool softeners and everything but it's it really honestly you have so much water weight and passing gas for the first time is the biggest relief I've never I've never felt something so I've never been so excited to pass gas ever but um that's pretty much all that's going on, and I'm excited to sleep tonight. I think I'm going to get a lot better of a sleep. I get my drainage tube pulled in the morning and um, also my catheter, which a lot of people are hesitant about a catheter, but it honestly is one of the best things I've ever had put in place. So um, I'll keep you updated on day three, and um, as of right now, I'll probably be going home on day four. So right now, this is just day two, and I'll keep you updated.